This is Kodak 5213 Vision Free. It's stunning. It's got so much character in it. And it's a stock I've used many times. Much like Kodak Portra 400 right here. It's the preferred stock of many photographers. And it's amazing. We can actually use it whilst filming with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And as you can see, the difference is spectacular. The next one is Fujifilm Eterna 8543 Vivid. It's an absolutely beautiful stock. One I've also used in the past. And as you can see before and after, there's a tremendous difference. There really is. And if you're a black and white photographer, Ilford Delta 400 is no doubt something you're very used to. The amount of times I was in a dark room with this film stock, it's nostalgic for me. And I absolutely love the way Film Convert emulates all these stocks. Right, so if you did watch that intro sequence, then you now know that the DJI Mini 4 Pro can be used for some incredibly beautiful cinematic footage. And it can. It's a tiny little drone with a huge potential. And to add to that potential, Film Comic Nitrate just released the profile for it. So you can film in log footage on your DJI Mini 4 Pro and the log footage you're gonna stick into your editor. I use Final Cut Pro. And in Film Convert, you now can select, if we open up the controls right there, DJI Mini 4 Pro D-Log M. And that is fantastic. That means that we can now use all these film stocks and they have a lot of film stocks, and I've heard they're going to be adding film stocks. They're beautiful. They really are. It's basically an emulation of stock footage. So, for example, Fuji, Kodak, you even have um, stuff like Ilford, which is fantastic. You've got a Polaroid 600 right there. Now, these stocks make the footage from your DJI Mini 4 Pro look like the movies. Look like a feature film. It's absolutely stunning. If we look at the first shot that I showed you in that sequence, you can see a train in the Swiss Alps. And I've been everywhere with this drone. And it's, it's, it's pretty. It's nice footage, sure. But it looks a lot better with Film Convert on it. Now, if we open the controls, you can see what I've done here. Basically, all I've done is I've selected Kodak 5213. And I actually filmed on that stock so many times in my life on ARRI cameras, and I gotta tell you, it's definitely been one of my favorite. And all you really do is select it, and you can select a different one if you want. You can go into Ilford and make it in black and white. The Ilford is beautiful. The Fuji Neo is stunning. You can go to Polaroid. You can basically select anything for a various amount of looks. Um, you have the classic 5207. The 5213 has got a slightly different look, kind of lifts the blacks. You can change your grain response. You can change the size. So we can go 60 millimeter, which adds a lot harsher grain. It gives this kind of kind of grungy feel. That also is a cool look. Now, adding it, correcting it is really, really simple. And for me, it just looks very organic. It is scanned 35 millimeter grain, and it just looks incredible on my footage. It adds that little bit of extra, you know, that extra level of class to the video, and it makes the video look like a movie, like a film, you know? It, it adds all that. The next shot you can see is around um, California, around Malibu area, and if you look at the shot here, 
I've used a completely different one so you guys can have a look at what this all looks like. Kodak 400 portrait, and it's absolutely stunning. Now, if I if I turn it on and off, you can see that there is a vast difference between the actual footage and the grain. If we zoom in to say 400%, you can see what is happening with this grain. If I play it, that's actually, um, let's have a look, better performance right there. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks stunning. Um, I love adding grain to my footage because the clinical cleanliness, is that a word, of these modern cameras makes everything look a little bit more, how do I put it? It's just a little bit too plasticky, you know? And adding film convert gives us this feeling that it's real, it's organic, that, that we're actually making something worthwhile, you know? I love adding character back into what I've done. The next shots are in Italy. And these are really beautiful shots. I love this shot. This was, it was, my hands were frozen. But if you see right here, I have chosen the Fuji 8543. And if we choose, uh, let's have a look, the Kodak, it adds a completely different feel from the Fuji. If we add the 8563, again, a completely different feel. So I really do love using film convert because it's very fast, it adds the actual profile of the stock footage and it's, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Here I chose black and white because I wanted to show you guys how good this looks in black and white and it really, really does. It gives it a very clean, old school look and it adds a really nice amount of grain and kind of character to your shot. So this shot right here at the end, it's um, it looks like it's out of a movie, right? If I do turn off film convert, this is what the actual original shot looks like with the color wheels off. So I did add a little bit to the darks because I was a little bit underexposed. But if we open it up, you can see I can change right to Polaroid and give it a completely different look right there. And it could be something like Out the Shining, right? It could be something um, out of some kind of movie. If we do 5213 again, that's what it looks like right here. And you can actually change everything here, including the grain curve and we can add and remove the halation and we can also do basically color correction in the app right here. So such a fantastic plugin, finally available for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And I've worked with Film Convert for a long time and before that I was absolutely in love with their plugin. It's something that I can really highly recommend and this film is sponsored by Film Convert, but it just, it's nostalgic for me, this plugin. It allows me to take this and make it look real. And to me, that is really important. That bit of character that I can add back, it's like using vintage lenses on, you know, on digital cameras, right? It's, it's adding that bit of organic life to your shot. Anyway. All links, everything is down below. Give me a like, sub, and um, ring that bell if you haven't. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Beautiful, beautiful stuff.